The James Webb Space Telescope captured an image of a red supergiant star that appeared to be bouncing after a catastrophic event. Did Betelgeuse burst already? If you recall the great dimming that occurred on Betelgeuse, then you are aware that the status of the well-known red supergiant star has been a contentious issue in the field of astronomy for many years. Now, new information obtained from the James Webb Space Telescope at NASA demonstrates that the unexpected darkening was most likely brought on by the telescope blowing its top in 2019, which resulted in a significant portion of its surface being lost. The NERCAM sensor that was being used by Webb researchers are confident that they have witnessed a supernova. They detected a bright object by comparing the data from the Webb telescope to the data obtained by the Hubble telescope. The object may be a star that has recently gone supernova, something that the scientific community refers to as a surface mass ejection, SME, from Betelgeuse, is something that has never been seen before. Betelgeuse is a brilliant red supergiant star that is nearing the conclusion of its life cycle in our galaxy. It's quite likely that Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova and become visible during the daytime. Since the 17th century, our galaxy has not been witness to the appearance of a supernova. A supernova is the explosion that takes place when a big star reaches the end of its existence and runs out of fuel. In the process of a star's demise, a tremendous explosion takes place, during which it sheds a significant portion of its mass and releases a significant quantity of light. Because this light is of such a high intensity, it may be seen from a considerable distance away. Webb observed one such brilliant flash in the galaxy Orion, which is also the location of the famous star Betelgeuse. The telescope made two separate images of the galaxy five days apart. In the second observation, the flash was less light than in the first observation, which suggests that it is becoming less bright over time. The strange behavior of the star, Betelgeuse, has led scientists to anticipate that it will soon explode as a supernova, but they are still mystified as to what is taking place with the most well-known star in the constellation Orion. Coronal mass ejections are large clouds of plasma that are sometimes sent into space by the Sun which is our home planet's star, CMEs. At Betelgeuse, it is on an incredible magnitude, as it is projected that the SME will release 400 billion times as much mass as average. We've never seen anything like this before, a massive mass being ejected from the surface of a star. According to Andrea Dupree, who works at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian Institution in Cambridge, Massachusetts, we are left with something going on that we really do not comprehend. It's a completely new phenomenon that we can observe directly and resolve surface details of with the James Webb Telescope, said the scientist. The James Webb Telescope. They suggest that the occurrence presents a novel opportunity to investigate star evolution. Astronomers were able to distinguish individual features on the surface of the star by using the James Webb Telescope. A corona flare is the name given to the mass ejection that the star is responsible for. These eruptions have the potential to alter the composition of the solar corona and environment surrounding the sun. If something like this were to strike the planet, it might disrupt numerous power infrastructures as well as satellite communications. The amount of material that was expelled by Betelgeuse during its flare was four times more than the amount of material that is typically generated by the corona flare of the Sun. Astronomers have been studying the pattern of the star's rotation for more than half a century. They have been able to witness the cycle of dimming and brightening that it goes through, which begins, continues, and then repeats. Astronomers typically see stars in various phases that endure for extended periods of time. This means that they rarely get the opportunity to study the evolution of a star in real time. They also do not frequently observe stars bouncing the way that Betelgeuse appears to be doing presently. Dupree described the interior of Betelgeuse as having a sort of bouncing quality. Betelgeuse continues to perform some very weird things right now, added Dupree. 
It is believed that Betelgeuse is currently in the process of recovering from its massive burp from within in 2019. This event occurred in 2019 when a bubble of gas from deep within the star produced enough power to blast off a section of its surface, which became a dust cloud above that caused the star to appear dim when viewed from Earth. Betelgeuse is currently in the process of recovering from this event. You won't be able to see the star Betelgeuse in the night sky from Earth using a telescope since Betelgeuse is now obscured by other objects in the sky. Even if it went supernova right now, we wouldn't be able to see much of the aftermath with the naked eye because it is visible in the daytime sky. Betelgeuse is around 750 times the radius of our Sun and 530 light years away, which places it well beyond the danger zone for Earth, which is defined as being within 50 light years of a supernova occurring in a neighboring star. Betelgeuse may have already exploded as a supernova more than 529 years ago. However, the light from this event has not yet reached our planet. Even taking into account how sensitive Webb's instruments are, this discovery comes as something of a shock. You need a lot of good fortune in order to witness a supernova when it occurs. This is because supernovae are transitory occurrences which means that they don't last for a very long time. Even though the supernova officially occurred billions of years ago, we are just now beginning to see it because it takes time for light to come to us from the distant galaxy. The discovery of supernovae was not Webb's primary mission, but scientists are making creative use of the information it has gathered thus far and coming up with novel applications for it. Webb will be able to observe the area around the supernova to witness its effects and the aftermath of such a big explosion if it is used to look at this kind of target. This is one of the advantages of using Webb to look at this kind of target. Not only is it crucial to have a better understanding of supernovae in order to comprehend the life cycles of stars, but it's also essential in order to accurately gauge the expansion of the universe. Because of their continuous levels of brightness and their ability to be seen from considerable distances, a class of supernovae known as Type 1a are utilized as mile markers for the purpose of measuring distances. According to the primary author of the study, Mike Engesser of the Space Telescope Science Institute, who spoke with Inverse, we would need additional time series data to make a decision. But the data that they currently have does match that of a supernova, making it a very excellent contender. What do you think about Betelgeuse? Are you excited about the possible supernova? Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you liked this video, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA News, and other space updates. We have another incredible video for you, available now. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you into this space story.